The following is sponsored by My life is rough and it dear me ban But still I be holding on My life is rough and it dear me ban Nothing never come easy to me ban Alright so people what are going Today we are talking about the biggest scam we we'll ever pull off in a dance hall history. You see me? Yes, the scam of them there. Scam of them there. A mad thing. Yo, we are talking about Casanova, the fairy tale, the tale of Casanova and friends. You get me I say? So you know, I'm your boy Wiz. And this is your girl Shakira. Mad thing, and this is what's popping. So you know what's popping right now? Casanova and them disappearance and the holes them story and the bugger, bugger, low, la, la. I don't even know if it's about that, the story there. You see me? Yeah, I don't believe a word of it. I'm sorry, but it's not, it don't seem legit and there's no concrete proof of anything. And um, first and foremost, we all know that he said J-Bad is wanted and on the run. Mm -mm. Isn't that J-Bad doing an interview with The Observer? Behold. The wanted man. The wanted man who's on the run. Doing an interview with the Jamaica Observer, a credible source. You get me? So how can a man be on the run and he's so sitting comfortably in his chair doing interview? Talking up a bag of things that, that talk about the history. The yes. man exposed everything. The man say, yo, Casanova never even did um write no song for Alkaline in the first place. A splice, them splice. Yeah. Up. He was a part of it. So he's putting the man it out there. The man admits it. He was a part of the whole sham. So the man say, yo, them start the whole thing for a lie, him and Casanova, and it seemed like the man got ended for a lie. Because mm. apparently the whole kidnapping was a hoax. You get me? It's just a little youth where, I don't know, a little, a little nerdy youth where get scared about some verbal, verbal threats. Abuse. <laughs> some verbal abuse. You get me, I say? Apparently the youth felt threatened and decided to hide out for three weeks. Three weeks for verbal abuse. You get me, I say? Now tell me. Okay, number one, I think he just used it to his advantage. I am not saying he wasn't going through some things. I think there were some conflicts and I think he was probably being verbally abused. Mm. Mentally, physically, emotionally, you name it. But you're a grown man and you're living with another man. For over right? a year. For over, over a, year. a year. So if you if it was if, if the situation was that bad and you say and you come forth and say, um, he held a gun to your head and all that. Mm. Why not just go to the police? Because you weren't held hostage because the day he went missing, mm. everyone said he was on his way to the student loan bureau. Mm. But even if you go to the police and the police, they must say, yo, yo, we can't do nothing about this because there's no proof. All you have to do as a big artist with a platform, just go on social media and say, people, if anything happened to me, exactly. if I happen to die or disappear, J Buds is responsible. Don't go and take up yourself and hide out for three weeks and have real dance hall people that worry about you and I say, yo, them, them don't want the artist missing or dead. You get me? I say, cause yes. believe it or not, across the world, I worry about people concerned. You Including ourselves, because when we did our stream about it, I mean, I was genuinely concerned because mm. I'm like, you know what? The time is passing and you know, normally when people go missing in Jamaica, it's always really serious. Fear for the worst. Right? Mm. So, I mean, you put a lot of people through heartache and pain. Including your family straight, you know, so I don't understand why you'd come back and the thing is you know The way you come back to it, it, it the way you come back could and put your story concrete and say you know what this is real But the way you did it made you look Uneducated and you're an educated person the way you did it made you look like an educate uneducated fool. for real because the man come up And what the man do him call CMR right and him says CMR brother, you know some alive and well Put out that story for me. I know a CMR though, like a real journalist, like, like a real journalist, like a real professional. The man put out the story, mm -hmm. but they never come out and say, people, guess what? The man alive. The man put out evidence, which is the man vice. The man put out a vice note and say, yeah, the people, conversation, listen, yeah. This is me and the artist himself. The man alive. You see me? Right. And then now, after the man follow your instructions, they come on social media and disrespect the man with that full full jackass. Them, you never know. Full jackfish. Full jackass. Full jackfish. He might definitely work with this man and say this man I'm spokesperson now. This man I front runner where I, I, I do all of the updates theme as of no one or what. Which is crap. He said the man and it like CNN. <laughs> CNN indeed because what? One, yes. week, one day the man come out and say yo, Casanova body found. Alkaline responsible. Oh yes and then there was another story saying that 
you get stabbed up and wrap up in a sheet and all something and all them something there and a jaybad responsible next day oh people sorry i know so story ago Casanova um kidnapped and him and get tortured held in a house being tortured so it was all f um fresh fake news fresh fake news you get me i say freshest because all made up yeah and the same full jackass came on social media disrespecting ja radio tv cmr tv and soul flow tv people were not even see him Definitely. right saying that um disrespecting us in the worst ways possible and yet still you came back and that's the person you chose to align yourself with a man who disrespect women in them kind of way they can't have any kind of morals you get me the man talk about my wife in some crazy way the man talk about me in some crazy way and we did actually like a fall for you to know we actually don't go live and talk about him and make an entire topic about him. But we realize yes. so what? This brother wants attention, you know, we're not going to yes. give it to him. And we're not going to lower our standards yes, me? and argue with a fool. But guess what? Full jackass. Today is birthday, brother. We are talking about it today. You get me? <laughs> and Casanova, you need to realize that so, the man will bring down your thing. Because you are going to say um, you did in a, you live with a person for over a year and you know you have no relationship with no girl and the man is gay, mm. whatever. And mm. apparently you left one gay relationship to start a new <laughs> gay relationship with the full jackass. And, Billy, and, and this one is even more factual because, you know, it's online everywhere. Yeah. Unknown homosexual come and post um, a video call with full jackass. Apparently them full used conversation. To, apparently they used to do the jerkins thing and the man said, yo, you're yeah, my man. To each no other. I mean, like, come on. And then you're going to clap. No wonder you were disrespecting me in that manner because obviously you can't love no kind of woman the way you talk. So, the artist now, Casanova, brother, you had a chance to come, come forward and just dominate because everybody eyes on you right now. And all you're doing right now is gimmicks. Where's the song? You know, a smart artist would have mm. come and drop a song and say, yo, right. people, this is what happened. And just tell a story in a song. That would be so Isn't good. It? Straight. Come out and use your music. Use your lyrics then. Because I'm not saying that you weren't going through things. Mm. Put it out in a song then because now you have the platform and everyone's looking at you. That is what every right? that's what a true artist do. When Massacre and um conscience fall out, Massacre write a proper song and explain why him leave subconscious. That is what real artists do. They yeah. use the music to tell them story. Do you that. get me? I said them do the social media antics. And you keep showing certain colours too because you're the one who called CMR TV mm. and yet still you're in a video standing beside full jackass right and while he's disrespecting cmr tv now i don't understand we um we're vloggers and if he put out a video saying you know what casanova is alive no one's gonna believe that mm -mm. obviously he needed proof so he recorded the conversation and put it out there that's the only way to get people's attention and for people to believe it and the only reason you went to him is because you wanted people to see it definitely you wanted people to hear it so i don't understand then you guys come on social media ris disrespecting everyone in line and look who the person you choose to, to put on your side with. and this is why nobody not find your thing credible nobody exactly. not taking your thing serious it just look like a big sham you know say show me a company and you know who you are exactly so if you're gonna align yourself with a man like that now right yes who, the producer nobody not gonna take you serious the master use a joke yes you get me say yes mr i'm you know mr soft grew up in church mm. so i'm guessing you have certain morals instilled in you and this is the person you chose to put yourself with the person whose vocabulary only includes of suck your mother it Wait. shows the capacity it's so limited like everybody in trace off and tell them about them this and them that that's not a decent person and the artist need to understand say yo and play himself dj kelly voice brother you played yourself <laughs> for real because yeah, right now you can't clash nobody because the moment you clash somebody, the man say, yo, boy, I run go hide for verbal, verbal abuse. Yep. Play the self, brother. Congratulations, Umbre. You didn't so handle I mean, I say, it. You right didn't handle now, it well. I'm mean, going to say, yo, Lord, the social media gimmicks, I make the song them speak. Get in the I'll studio. Know we don't hear a song right now. We want to hear some song come out to say, yo, the artist is bad. Just drop a song. Drop a song and I tell some story as to what happened then. Explain your ordeal with lyrics. Let me hear. Instead yes. of going around with the social antics and disrespecting people and aligning yourself with people and disrespect people. You get me? That yeah. can't bring down it. That can't bring up thing up in it to bring it down. Yeah, like I will never just we'll never just come on social media disrespecting people and and classing women in that kind of matter manner. Because if I ever hear 
Wiz, talk about our next woman like that. Me gonna really lose her fame. I'm gonna never. lose her whole heap of points. You don't disrespect women like that. And you that's never. the person I know you have a mother who was worried about you. And that's the kind of man you chose to come out with. The same man who come out and tell everybody so you're dead too much time. Mm -hmm. So yo, people, you know the routine. If you agree, drop some comments. If you don't agree, drop some comments. Can we read them? You get me I say? Just the same. I remember, subscribe to the channel, alright? Yes. You know I'm your boy Wiz. And this is your girl Shakira. What's poppin'? Peace.